welcome to a new day, new vlog. I think it's been forever since I filmed because the past like couple videos that you guys have seen literally have been from when I was like 20 something weeks. So it's been a few weeks since I filmed. Um, but it's mainly because lots of has happened. Um, quite a few hospital visits. I've been on a lot of like um, hip pain, leg pain. Um, they can't really figure it out. They think it's like a nerve. Lots of pain. Um, we went to Colorado. We went to Arizona. I don't even think I told you guys about Arizona. We were in Arizona for like a whole week. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that. But if you don't, you should. Um, but yeah, a lot has just gone on. And I'm officially like, you know what? There's so much to be doing. There's a lot that needs to be done. Um, and a lot going on in the next couple weeks. Because we're having a baby in five weeks. Literally. I am 31 weeks and 4 days today. I will be induced at 37 weeks because I was um, finally diagnosed with gestational hypertension because of my blood pressure. So now I go to um, maternal fetal medicine twice a week to get monitored and then once a week I have to go get blood work done, which is what we're about to go do right now. Um, I have to take the kids with me because it's Monday morning and I don't have anyone to take care of them. So. Um, they're coming with me today. Tomorrow I have maternal fetal medicine ultrasound and they have to come with me too. And then Wednesday I have like a regular 32 week appointment and they have to come with me for that one too. And then on Friday, um, Ashley's going to stay with my mom and have another ultrasound because Lana officially starts school on Thursday. So there's just like a lot going on. Um, lots to do, lots to prep today. Um, it's Monday, Lana goes to school on Thursday. So I want to make some muffins this week or muffins today for this week i think i'm gonna boil some eggs today um i gotta get some try to get some cleaning done um i've been trying to like slowly clean and organize um nursery's almost done um there's just been a lot so if you guys want to stick around hang out with us today go to the library today too because the returns are books oh shoot you know what i have to actually go get the boys their library thing too quick a thousand bucks but we're on library today too so lots to do today if you want to hang out with us come hang out huh i got a vlog it's just the camera head okay so went in for my freaking blood work and come to find out that the doctor never put it in even though both doctors like two different doctors told me to do it never was in there so i called tricor um i called it's just water i called my doctor and they ended up putting it in and i was able to like walk back but stuff so I, like, I was walking out of the hospital and i had to walk back in but nice and easy got it done now we are in the car my blood work done we're having a snack the kids are having lana already had a banana and now he wants chips i'm eating an apple because i need something whenever i get blood work done i get screwed uh -oh. i don't have more chips in the bag i'm eating apple we're gonna go to the library now wait you guys are both eating apples help me have a dry have a dry book Okay, we're gonna go and we're gonna meet with our friend Natalie and Eli. Um, go to the library, return some books. We have we've hit a thousand books before kindergarten, so we have to return that too. And yeah, next step. I think it is supposed to be a tiger. Oh, study hands. It looks like a mermaid tiger. A mermaid tiger? Yeah, because it, because it doesn't have two legs. Yeah, something like that. You got to pick out one book. Go ahead. Which one do you guys want? There's a dinosaur. There's right here. This looks kind of like a Halloween monster one. Which one is this one? Uh, Pig the Pug. Ash, you want the monster book? Yeah, the mon of course you do. <laughs> I like I you like Halloween? Okay, yeah, Asher, which, yeah. Landon, which one do you want? I this is a good reader book. Okay. You want that one, the dinosaur one? Mm -hmm. Amelia Bedelia. I loved her when I was younger. 
Look at this one is Danny the dinosaur um, go to camp. It's a camp one. This one is Pete the cat is too cool for school. Which one do you want? That one. That one? Yeah, I don't have these. Okay, you can hold yours. No, I'll, I'll take this one. Okay. Landon, you can write your name. Asher, mommy helped you write yours. Okay? Yeah. Wait, wait, right here. For you guys. I couldn't find another one. Okay. It's okay. We'll just do one at a time. Don't write too big, though, because you want it in your book, baby. I would start your L leg over here so you have enough space. Good job. My name. Yep, I'll help you with your name in just a second. Okay, that's okay. Yep, it looks good. Is that the first and last or just the first? Uh, just your okay. first. We just got home from blood work, library, and now the kids are eating some lunch. Um, I need pizza rolls. I, I don't think I've ever had pizza rolls. Maybe like one. So, I'm actually going to make myself some because it actually tastes so good. I'm going to make myself some pizza rolls now. Um, haven't had them in forever. The kids are having some pizza rolls, some grapes, and cucumbers. Um, they're going to have some quiet time in a minute. And it's already 12.47, so they're going to take a nap. I'm going to take quiet time. Well, you're probably going to pop. Yeah, I feel like getting the blood work done this morning, and not taking forever, kind of put me in the damper. I honestly don't really feel like doing anything else. I do need to make banana muffins, but I think I'm going to wait. I don't know, yeah. Yes. I don't know. And then I still have to like try to figure out what I'm going to make for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to make S'mores? I don't know what I'm going to make. S'mores and little shorts? No. It's you can probably take a bite of it. Just go take slow bites because it's probably a little hot. Yeah. Then I'll try to relax a little bit once the kids have quiet time. I think I'm kind of cramping a little. I get a contractions, which Cameron's like, that's normal. I'm like, I mean, yeah, technically. I'm gonna go in with the peach liquid IV. So good. I think this is actually probably my new favorite. How many times are you going to eat the pizza? Can I have a wine with the grapes one? Uh, super good. I think it's my new favorite. You guys want to check it out? My code is Ruthie Tara. Yeah, good. Yeah. Yeah, cool. It saves you 20 percent off, so. Yeah, we're going to have some lunch. Put them down for a quiet time. I'm going to relax a little bit because my like, lower back and stomach hurts. But... We'll make banana bread and eggs and all that stuff soon, so. Banana bread. Maybe I'll actually put some eggs on the oven. Banana bread. How do you mean banana bread? And boil some eggs. I'm going to do that. Oh, let's boil some eggs. Way. 
you get the ice cubes first. And then I'll grab the eggs. Um, I need 12. And I'll just put them in here. And then I'll pour some water and I'll let it sit for a little bit. It makes it so much easier to peel. You know, sometimes ice can be a little like easier to peel. This is so much easier. One of my eggs busted open. I made 12 boiled eggs because me and the kids love eggs for like lunch. Um, sometimes like it's a snack, um, anything like that. So, gotta make some boiled eggs. I'll leave my house smells afterwards too. So, I'm gonna have that sit for a little bit. Um, I really have to fold some laundry. I really don't want to though. Like, I really don't want to. But I really have to. Like, it's been. The peach liquid IV is so good. Um, it's been a while. Yeah, let's go fold this laundry. Um, I really gotta bring this in the garage. So much to do. I don't know if it's like being pregnant or if I'm just going through something. But lately, I feel like I don't wanna do and a part of me feels like just maybe going through the motions of being pregnant. I have to like sit down right now to fold laundry. Um, if I bring this to my room, I'm going to just fall asleep. I was sitting on the couch for a little bit and I was already getting super sleepy. So got to get myself up and going. Um, I think I'm going to maybe try to go to the gym today. Uh, I'm going to see if Cameron wants to go. I've been trying not to go as much lately, but still trying to go like when I feel good. Um, and I feel pretty decent today, so just having a little bit of back pain, but nothing that's like too crazy. Like I definitely can like do some chest today or something. Chest is usually what Cameron does on Mondays anyway, so I think I may try to go to the gym today. Try to get me out of the house. Um but get me like kind of moving my body, I think. I mean, I only have, I still can't like, have a baby in five weeks, you guys. Like, it's starting to feel so surreal. Um, I still have so much to do. Uh, I'll probably end up like, I'm trying to right now, sorry, fixing the lighting. I'm trying right now to fix, um, put together a list of like, things that I need for like postpartum, um, kind of like, you know, um, like pads and diapers. I didn't actually use diapers with neither of my kids. Um, like personally, like for myself, like, you know, like they have the adult diapers. I never use them, but like people always say it makes it just that much easier. I don't know how I will feel. I truly hate the feeling of a pad even on my periods now like when I even like just normally like on my menstrual I never wear a pad I can't stand the feeling I don't like mm -mm, mm -mm. so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about a diaper especially with how much blood comes out but we shall see I mean I'm open to it I think I'm gonna get like a small box uh, for both my pregnancies, postpartum, I really didn't bleed much postpartum. It was only heavy for like three days and then it was pretty like minimal. So I'm um, hoping that's the case again. Um, and then maybe I'll just like wear the diapers to like bed or something. We shall see. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to buy things. I've already been buying like breast pads and then I had some... Um, bump boxes that had breast pads so I have some of those I have things uh, I just need to grab a few things and I'm trying to like slowly work on a list um, so that way once I'm ready I can just like buy it all I am having a baby at 37 weeks so but I know I'm also at the risk of possibly kind of having to get induced at any point if my levels are really bad so I feel like it's almost better if I like start my diaper bag or my hospital bag um, sooner than later. 
I just don't want to start it too soon because I'm not, I mean, I'm like, like, I'm about to be 32 weeks. I feel like that's really <laughs> early, but I only have five weeks, possibly sooner, so I don't know. I think I'm going to slowly just, like, work on a thing. I'm going to use a suitcase for me and baby um, at labor, like, not labor delivery. For when it's labor, I think I'm going to do just like a duffel bag of just like necessities. And then when it comes to me getting moved to the mother and baby room, I will probably then bring my suitcase and that will have like my stuff for me, stuff for him. Um, I like things like that, I guess. Um, just because really, I don't really feel like you don't need much when you're in labor. Um, both my pregnancies, I was in labor pretty long because of the preeclampsia, but um, you don't really need much. I mean, you have to wear a hospital gown, so it's easier for like checking you and everything. Um, probably just bring like toiletries, like a toothbrush, toothpaste. Um, maybe bring my makeup to like labor and delivery. I don't know. I may. It depend. It just depends. And how I'm feeling, especially with the baby. I don't know. We'll see. My camera like overheated, but I finished folding my laundry and putting it away. Um, now we're gonna crack some eggs. So just gonna put a little back schmack. And we just come like perfect every time. Like, come on. You know for a fact. When an egg isn't perfect, it sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna crack these eggs open. It's 2.14, so hopefully I can get this up pretty quick and then my laundry at least is done. Then I can actually just think, I'm just gonna lay down and close my eyes for a minute. My, I'm just not feeling the best. I just texted Cameron that too. I was like, I'm just, I'm ready to feel like myself again. Like, just do it folding laundry, just like takes, everything out of me. Um, let's see, it's perfect every time. Um, and it's just, it's hard because I know like I have so much to do but being pregnant, I'm just, I'm struggling here. I actually just saw a pair of leggings too because I was wearing like maternity jeans earlier and I just had to get out of those because I'm like, I'm struggling. <laughs> so perfect every single time. Um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. I'm, and I know it's going to take me a little bit to get back into it. Like, even having a newborn, like, it's just tough. Like, you're not sleeping, and you have, like, this baby attached to you. And I'm a little nervous because I haven't really had, like, a baby need me like that. I mean, my kids need me, but my kids are very independent. Like, like I mean, my kids are five and almost four. So they're just really independent. They're really great with just doing things on their own. I mean, I haven't, they still depend on me, just not in the same way that a newborn does. And it makes me just kind of nervous because it's like changing diapers all the time again and not sleeping and waking up to nurse, all the nursing breaks. I'm excited to nurse, I miss nursing, but just things that I'm like nervous to like redo again. You guys have multiple babies or babies that are not really close in age. I feel like between Landon and Asher, um, I was pregnant with Asher when Landon was one. So I ended up having Asher when Landon was only like 21 months. So they were just, I don't know, I feel like I just had two babies. Like Landon still really needed me and Asher needed me and I don't know. I just, I don't know. I'm like scared. It, it may just be me. And I think I'm more nervous too because now Landon's going to school full time and then Asher will be going to school hopefully, hopefully soon. Um, we're just waiting. Um, but yeah, like tell me I'm not crazy. Tell me it's going to be okay. Because right now I'm like, are you sure I can handle a third? I don't know. I know people do it, but it's just, I don't know. 
and having a military husband, they're just never really available to help sometimes. So, yeah. these are my eggs, all done. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I'm gonna have to make the muffins. Should I just make them quickly? These are my bananas. They're looking quite nasty. Um, but these are the kinds of bananas you want when you make a banana bread. Just melt it some butter. Um, uh, my recipe is usually like three bananas, but this is like one, two. I think we're gonna double it because actually, no, probably not. Put this in here with some half a cup of melted butter, which is basically a stick of butter. Um, I'm gonna mix this up. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of vanilla, two eggs. Two-thirds cup of sugar, sorry. Give this a mix. And then we'll go in afterwards with the flour, salt, baking soda, baking powder. So now I'm gonna go in with two cups of, of flour. This is a half a cup, but two cups of flour. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. Sorry. I get them confused. And then we're gonna put a little bit of salt. It just helps. I don't really know why, but salt helps something with like the flour and like all that, like rise correctly mixed together. I don't really know. Brings the flavor out. Usually I put this in my stand mixer, but I really don't know why I didn't use my stand mixer. I guess we wanna be real old school today and do everything by hand. So domesticated. I am. Look at me being a home maker. I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so I have my muffin tin. Just sprayed it with some coconut oil. I'm just gonna plop some in here and then cook this for like 25 minutes on 350. I'll kind of like check on it because sometimes my oven cooks a little fast. But we'll see. We'll just kind of like 25-ish minutes. If you're gonna put it in a loaf, it probably takes like 60 minutes. Um, but since they're muffins, it'll be a little bit faster, so. Banana bread muffins are done. Um, banana bread muffins, yeah. It's three o'clock now. I've been laying down for a little bit. I'm gonna lay down for a little bit more until my kids wake up because they're probably about to wake up like any minute now. Um, yeah, muffins are done. I feel at least a little calm. All right, guys, we just got back from the gym. Um, I'm gonna throw some steaks on the flat top, but I got some mail. I don't know what this is. What is this? A fan fest from Benefit. A fanning and volumizing mascara. Ooh, I'm excited to try this. 
Um, and I then ordered these off of Amazon. I'll link them for you guys. They're like ten dollars, and it has like you can put them on shirts, anything like that. It's like a little washable dishwasher safe. I'll link it for you guys. But now I'm gonna make some dinner. I just threw the steaks on um, and make a salad, and that's it for tonight. I guess I don't know. She has a power cord. Sorry.